All right, YouTubers, what is happening? We've got a video for you today on the new Spyderco Shaman Sprint Run in S90V and carbon fiber. And this was brought to you by my good buddy over there at Indiana Knives. That's where I picked it up from him. And he got it to me pretty quickly, as usual. So make sure you go check out Indiana Knives for your knife buying needs. He is now a Spyderco dealer as well. I think I mentioned on a previous video I had, but... He is a spider code dealer. So the Shaman S90V, this is the sprint run that just came out uh, this for this year. And you guys know after my last review, this is my user Shaman. I actually beat the heck out of this knife. It is such a good user knife. One of the best, I think, spider codes ever made as far as an actual like hard use folder. Um, love it. So of course when the uh, um, Sprint Run came out with Carbon Fiber and S90, I had to check it out. So, and it is this fine, fine specimen. This, so this is legit. Here's a, I mean, not legit, but of course the knife's legit. Um, the Carbon Fiber is what I was going to say, is legit Carbon Fiber. Really, really nicely done. I'm going to zoom in quite a bit here so you can see it. So we know Spyderco can do Carbon Fiber, they just don't do it very often. They like to do that peel ply stuff and um, or the laminate stuff. This is legit carbon fiber like they did on the um, Peter Carey model and the Rubicon, which is discontinued. Capara. That's the other one I was thinking. So beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber. I wish they would do this carbon fiber on their um, on their uh, paramilitary twos. They do in carbon fiber. They never have. They've always done that kind of peel ply stuff. So. This isn't as grippy, but I, I like it quite a bit. So, very, very nice. Um, very well done on the carbon fiber. Really, really nicely contoured scales. Um, one thing I wanted to check. See, so, yeah, way more. Okay, so on the G10 model right here, it was not contoured very well. So you could kind of feel like a little bit of a spot. I actually sanded mine down. It was a little rough right here on the G10 model. Like it was kind of hard. On the carbon fiber model, that's not the case. That's another thing I wanted to look at. Is that yeah, you don't you won't need to touch anything on the carbon fiber. It's really comfortable in the hand. Um, still has the annoying little nub, which I took off of mine, and still no sharpening chart, which I added to mine. But this guy is such a nice looking knife. I wouldn't want to do all those things to it. This is definitely more of a showpiece. Um, you know, that's one thing I was hesitant about. I would have kind of loved a different material than carbon fiber, maybe a different color G10 or um, even Micarta, which they kind of teased at Blade Show this year, which was awesome. I can't wait for that to happen. Because to me, the Shaman is a user knife. It's not a pretty, hey, look at me, I'm pretty um, pocket jewelry knife. It's totally a user knife. Now, not to say you couldn't use this because it has carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is very really tough. But to me, it's just a little bit, for me on a user knife, I want G10. I want something that's grippy that's, you know, I don't care if something happens to it. If it gets uh, worn down, it'll look, you know, no big deal. Um, so I like the G10. I like this S30. I almost, it's like tempting if my blade wasn't modified, that fat nub and been sharpened and used the heck, I'd be tempted to swap the scales, put the S90V blade on the G10. So you'd have really good user um, steel as well and put the S30V on the carbon fiber. But yeah, for me, I like, um, I wanted to pick one up because, you know, Carbon Fiber S90, that's a good combination. Spyderco does a good heat treat on there. Pretty much on all their steels, let's be real. Let's be real, they're probably the best production company. Let me rephrase, best major production company. Because I'm not going to put them up there with, um, you know, the other US or production companies that make them in smaller batches. Because I think they can do a better job on heat treat and they just don't do as many knives. Spyderco does so many knives and they do a really good job at heat treating their steels. So. Um, other than that, I mean, there's really not any differences. Well, yeah, the blade finish. So this has got more of a grinder satin finish where this is more stone washed. So that's one thing that's different between these two. Um, obviously the G10, the contouring's better on this one, which they kind of, and they must have really gone to town on that carbon fiber, which is nice to see, especially this expensive of a knife. This one's wearing an MXG clip, um, which I really like the MXG clip on this knife. But yeah, just a beautiful, um, beautiful knife. I can't remember. It almost looks like the clip though is more of the stone wash. Let me see if I can find my original shaman clip. Yep. 
Good one right here. Let's check it out. Because one thing I like that they do with the Shaman on the OEM clip is that they made it the same finish as the blade. Yeah, looks like it's a little different. Let's see here. Yep, this has got more of a grinder satin finish that's more stonewash. So nice, good job, Spyro. So they match the clips again. So well done on this guy. So these run about 270 ish, 270, 280. Um, you are getting about a $100 difference in price, but you are getting, you know, S90V steel and real carbon fiber handles um, versus just plain G10. Expensive, a little bit, but it's a uh, it's a sprint run spider coat, so not surprising at all that it would be more expensive than, you know, $100 more than this one, you know. Uh, if it was a major or regular production model, like a S110V or something, then maybe it would be just a little bit more money, but this is a sprint and these will one day fetch a high price, I'm sure. Um, this one's got perfect centering out of the box. Good action. Um, look at what you can get though. These guys when they break in, they're fantastic. So yeah, thanks Eric again for sending this over for review, and, or I purchased it, but um, thank you for hooking me up and getting it to me so quickly. And yeah, that's, I'm not gonna do a ton of review on this because I did so much review on the Shaman, it's the same knife. Just a little bit different finish on the blade and the clip, and then the carbon fiber, obviously, in the S90B. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.